What's good, sneak aheads? I'm back here with another one, just like I promised. And this one I actually got from, I just got it in the mail today, uh, the video before this one, the uh, Hyper Dunks, I talked about it. I've been waiting for it for a minute. I actually bought them early, um, but they took a minute to get here because of the weekend and delays. It, it's ridiculous. I should have just bought them down the street, but whatever. Um, shout out to uh, Sneaker Politics. Uh, if y'all don't know them, look them up. Uh, you can get stuff early from them. Nine times out of ten, it comes on time. I got my um, Baron 11 Lows from them, and they actually came early. Um, I think they were like two days before they dropped. They actually came to, they got to my house. Um, but yeah, I ordered these. They just got to my house. So let's get into it. And uh, to keep up with my box opening deal with like random stuff, uh, I couldn't really find anything like spur of the moment kind of deal. So I had some Arby's shameless plug. <laughs> uh, so I figured I'd just open it with a straw. It's going to be the fastest box opening with a straw. Y'all are probably like, how's he going to open that with a straw? And I don't have it like, you know, I don't have it. It's just a straw. Just a random little straw. Anyway, so here's the box pretty big box um, sneaker politics um, always puts padding in there like those little bubble things like a real thick deals and I'm going that this is probably the top of the box so uh, there we go <laughs> I told you it was gonna be quick and what do you know I was right bubbly things I only did that because honestly that what I just showed you and the last like three shoes that I've got in the box has been completely destroyed so I figured why not you know get into it quick no hassle get rid of that straw and uh, the box is probably messed up anyway which it's not <laughs> of course it's not the one time that it's not messed up get that box out of here all right, so you already know uh, because of the look of the box. So size 12, as always. I picked up the Jordan 13 breads. How y'all feel about that? I'm feeling great. These look amazing. These are absolutely amazing. I love this whole playoff kind of alternate playoff 98 playoff kind of feel um, as everybody knows Jordan did wear these I'm gonna get rid of this <clears throat> as everybody knows Jordan did wear these in the 98 playoffs um, and a lot of people don't know this uh, these are uh, a lot of people do know this one uh, these are pretty much an exact from the 98 release they released them in 98 uh, 2012 or 14 and then again this year um, this is the first time that I've actually copped them so the last time they dropped they sold out real quick too and they're made from the same material everything's the same um, but a lot of people don't know this but these were actually supposed to be like if everything went down the way it should have been uh, these would have been the last shots or the end or whatever you want to call it uh, but Jordan being the way that he is, he wanted to switch out for the last game and wear a shoe that hasn't come out yet. Like a shoe in his arsenal that hadn't been released. It was set to release the next year, uh, probably six or eight months later after that. Uh, so he switched out from this one and went to the last shots, which are the black and red uh, 14s, uh, the iconic 14s. So... But yeah, a lot of people don't know that, but that is true. These were set to be the last shots, but spur of the moment change. Uh, I mean, he had been wearing these all throughout the playoffs anyway, so I guess he just wanted to switch it up a little bit and, you know, get a different shoe to ball on him with. Uh, so yeah, I'm, if you can tell, I'm talking a little bit different because my nose is a little bit stuffy. That 
my allergies are just killing me here in North Carolina. It is ridiculous. But yeah, um, the bottom of these is uh, for y'all. Oh, I got tape on my finger. For y'all that don't know, the bottom of these are supposed to resemble a panther paw, as you can tell, because mainly because uh, <clears throat> you know the design of this shoe, Tinker Hatfield, one of the best shoe designers out. Like he designed the most iconic retro Jordans. Amazing designer, shoe designer, amazing. Um, he actually didn't, when this shoe was designed, he didn't talk to Jordan beforehand. Um, he just kind of went with it. And then when he finally got a hold of Jordan, he was like, yeah, you know, I base this on a panther because your playing style makes you look like a panther. It reminds me of a panther because, you know, your moves and everything on the court, and before they know it, you have the ball and you're gone. You know, just like a panther, quickness and everything. So he designed this like a panther paw. The um, hologram right here is supposed to resemble the eye of a panther with the green, you know, how it reflects at night. <clears throat> the colorway, not so much. But that's also why they came out with the black cat colorway because Black Panther, Tinker Hatfield called him the Black Panther. So, but um, this shoe actually. Uh, has zoom air in the uh, you know insole and whatnot or not the insole but you know the sole itself um, it has zoom air in it and if you look right here in this mesh kind of upper uh, it's got 3M and I'll show you a picture Boop, right here uh, so it reflects when light hits it but it's actually not woven in like a lot of people think it is um, the mesh is actually on top of the 3M material. The 3M material is its own layer at the bottom, and then the uh, the the mesh is kind of laid on top of it. So that's actually pretty cool. It kind of looks like it's stitched in in a way, but it's not. If you actually look at the development of it and everything, it's its own layer. Um, so I guess the stitching of it, just stitching into it makes it look like it's been stitched into it. Um, it also has a um, hidden quick lace system. You know, as everybody knows, that's your typical with your Jordan 13s right here. I mean, honestly, if anybody's ever tried to lace one of these, they are not the easiest to lace, but... Um, you know the and it's also got the carbon fiber down here on the bottom that's always good this shoe is one of my favorites like I love the 12s 13s and 14s those I mean I like the ones too but the 12s 13s and 14s especially the 13s and 14s they just went they were so futuristic from back then like when I first saw them I fell in love with them I wanted them so bad and I couldn't get them. I was probably in like sixth grade or something when they came out. And I just, I ooh and odd over these shoes so bad. I wanted them so bad and I'm so glad that I have them now. The quality on these, like the, uh, the white and red ones, the cherry ones that came out, um, I, I didn't cop a pair because of the amount of issues that they had with them. They had people, they ordered them from the sneakers app that came. You can look them up on Twitter in the history. Um, they still have pictures everywhere. They were getting them from Nike that had mold and everything growing on them. Like, straight out the box. I just didn't want to risk it. So, I... No. I mean, they were white anyway. And, you know, with this being red... And red through Nike and Jordan brand and everything, red always tends to bleed. So red and white, especially with this type of material, red, I don't really want to do it. I don't want to risk it. You get it wet, and it just goes downhill from there. So I passed on those. Um, the quality just wasn't there either. But with these, the quality is great. I've noticed um, people are sleeping on these, but there are stores, a few stores that sold out. They still have them on the sneakers app. 
not in a size 12 though and you can pick them up from the uh, restock app uh, but you know Hibbit Sports, Foot Locker, stuff like that they're all sold out so but yeah they've got the uh, you know the tumbled leather toe they got the uh, mesh upper with the kind of suede right down here across the back too the inside looks great like everything about this shoe is just amazing I love it so much I have the black cats and I also have those blue lows and I'll show you a picture of both those bloop bloop I gotta do that little thing that little sound effect whenever I do that I don't know why but um and I like both of those I like the uh, a lot of people don't but like you know I've said in a few of my videos, I don't really like shoes that wrap around my ankles. These would be great to ball in, but I'm not going to wear these on a daily basis. Uh, these are definitely going to be once in a blue moon. Um, the 13 lows, a lot of, almost everybody sleeps on them. I passed on the Chetneys because I don't really like the way they look. But I do have the blue ones, and uh, I think they're called like the denims or something like that. I don't know. But I like the way they look. I like the way the lows look. I also had a pair of the... Uh, the playoff lows that were like all leather um black and red not like this but kind of like this um i had those as well liked them a lot but uh you know i i just love the way these look like the quality on these like jordan's actually starting to step up i think the next ones that come out are going to be the uh the playoffs that resemble the lows that i had the all black with a little bit of red here and there they come out later this month, I think. <clears throat> but those are supposed to be all leather. So, and that's another thing with these. When you get them all leather, that's why they mixed up the material. Because they get real stiff um, until you break them in. And when you break them in, they start to look a little worn. So, they mix up the material to kind of take away that effect. But if you get the all leather ones, just be careful. Because it might look a little rough after you've worn it for about a month or so. But... Yeah, these are great balling shoes. I highly recommend it. You know, I mean, it is designed like a panther foot. It does grip the court very well. Um, and I do love this red jump man down here. Um, these right here are notorious. These little holograms are notorious for fading and clouding over and whatnot. So the best way to keep them from doing that is just to keep that sticker on there. Um, if you've already taken it off, you can get some other type of, uh, like a cellophane. You can get it at hobby stores and whatnot. You just cut out another little circle and put it on there. But I've had, I've had pairs from, uh, 2006 that I ended up selling and I kept this on here and it was crystal clear. It didn't get cataracts as they say. Um, but I also had pairs from the same time frame where I took it off and that hologram got cataracts. So, but, um, yeah, I mean, I hope you guys go pick them up. Let me know if you guys cop them or not. Um, I definitely, definitely couldn't miss out on these. These were just too fire in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I hope y'all liked the video. Um, Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, make sure to watch through because I got some good on feet with these and pictures. Uh, make sure to follow me on social media. It's down in the description. Uh, that way you can know my latest cops, video drops, random stuff. And I'm also about to throw up a nice picture that I took for uh, you know those of y'all that miss the eclipse. Um, Comment if y'all saw it. I mean, I did. I had to make my own homemade glasses, and it worked. Like, I love seeing it. That was a once-in-a-lifetime ordeal, seeing it full-blown like that. But I'm about to give y'all a little surprise and pop up a picture right now. Y'all like that, don't you? I took that over a span of about 30 minutes. Um, well, not really 30. I guess it was like 20 minutes. But uh, there was a lot of tweaking involved and I got that progression shot it was it was hard but it was very well worth it and I hope y'all enjoyed it hope y'all enjoyed these hope y'all cop them um yeah so make sure to do everything that I just said like subscribe follow me on social media 
uh, leave a comment. I'd love to read those. And I hope you all have a good one. Peace.